in today's video, I have another segment of Plus One Style. Today is my long awaited video talking all about bras. As a fellow plus size woman, I know how hard it is to find amazing bras. Today I'm going to share with you my favorite brand for plus size bras. For those of us that need more lifting, more support, and don't want to have to compromise shape. So if you would like to see my Elomi bra haul and all my favorite bras, please keep watching. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my favorite lingerie brand. I'm also gonna be sharing some tips and tricks. Being full figured, being plus size, sometimes it's so hard to find the best fitting bras. You guys, about a month and a half ago, I stumbled upon the brand Elomi and it has changed my life. It has changed the way I look in clothing and I'm so excited to tell you guys about all the great things that I've Found. So the first thing I'm going to say is don't be afraid to get professionally fit. Now, because right now we are in quarantine, I cannot go to Nordstrom or somewhere else and get professionally fit. So my advice would be take a look at the bra that you wear most. Maybe it's your favorite bra. I definitely have one. Mine will be a black bra. Take a look at that bra and see how it fits. How's the band? Is it too loose? Is it too tight? Is it riding up? Is it riding down? And the next most important thing will be to take a look at the cup. Are your breasts spilling out the top? Are they spilling out of the sides? How does the volume feel to have your breasts in that cup? One of the things that I realized, and I'm gonna show you guys when I take off my robe, is that a lot of women like myself who are heavier, who are heavier chested, we have a lot of breast tissue right here. And what people don't realize is that is actually breast tissue. That is not just like side boob, like that's not just a roll, that is actually your breast. So when you think about the perfect fitting bra, you really want the center gore to go all the way up to where your cleavage starts so that your breast is fully encompassed and you want it to go all the way on the side to encompass the full breast tissue. So the best way of actually measuring yourself is to get a measuring tape. Now once again this is just a starting point. So me when I measure around like where my bra sits it's a 38 but don't get too caught up in that number because basing on how the actual bra fits and how different brands run you may need to go up a size or down a size. That's why I say it's best to kind of loosely figure out what size you're going to wear and then try the bras on and then see if you need to go up or down. So here are my tips. If you try on your bra and the band is actually riding up in the back, that means it's too big. Now for a lot of us, or at least myself, my problem has never been that my band is too big. It's always been that it's either too snug or there's no issue at all. But if your band is riding up, you may need to go down a size. And if it's like too, too tight and you can't fit a few fingers in between and sliding around, it may be too tight. Another tip is that the hooks in the back should be like comparable to how big your cup size is. So for me, I usually have about three or four rows and then three hooks because the larger you are in the cup size and sometimes in the band size, you're gonna need a larger amount of space in the back where the actual bra is. And I'll show you guys that when I start showing you my bras. Once again, you're gonna find that out when you start adjusting what cup size you are. <sighs> I'm just gonna tell you now, the bra I was previously wearing was a Victoria's Secret Body by Victoria Demi in a 38 triple D. And when I found my correct size, I went all the way up to a 38 double G. Yes, double G for goodness gracious. And at first, I felt like a cow, I'm not gonna lie, but what I noticed was that I was super flat right here. So as you can see, this is like a silk robe. There's nothing right here, there's no bulge. I'm not giving you a quad boob, and that is what you want. I don't care how large of a cup size you need to get in, the proper fitting bra will have you fully encompassed and all of your breast tissue will be contained. And that's what's most important. We wanna look nice, we wanna feel nice, and honestly, when you have on the proper fitting bra, you look slim. So let's get into my favorite styles. Okay, so my first bra we're going to talk about today is the Elomi Matilda. Now because of how this bra is sheer, I might have to include some like blurring, but that's just because this is not OnlyFans, not that I have it, but I do not want to 
be out on the internet exposing myself. But this is my first bra. I kept the tag to show you guys. This is called the Alomi Matilda in the color Berry. This is a size 38 double G or a US 38 J. Now I also want to mention that Alomi is a UK size brand. So your size will be in UK. So for me in the US now, I am a 38 J. In Alomi in UK sizing, I am a 38 double G. This bra retails for $69 and I got it on sale at Nordstrom for $41.40. What I love about Alomi bras is that, like, look how I am contained in this bra. Like, we have no quad boob. I'm fully contained on this side. This is what the back looks like. Now, because of how my rolls are situated on my body, it might look like this band is too tight but that's just how it sits because if you try to bring it down, it'll just like roll up. So I just kind of sit it, you know, where my roll is, it's okay. But the one thing that I love about these bras is that my breasts are fully encompassed. So looking from the front, I'm super flat right here and on the side, my wire is coming all the way behind my breast. So when I spoke about making sure your breast is fully enveloped in the cup, that's what I mean. And you guys disregard my scar right there. I had surgery like over a decade ago and I scar easily. But what I love about this bra is that it's super, super comfortable. Now, this is a plunge style bra. So this works best with tops that are low cut. Keep in mind that doesn't mean that this is going to be a push up style because as you can see, I'm fully encompassed it's giving no push-up effect but it's a plunging style neckline so let's say you're wearing a v-cut blouse some of the other fuller coverage styles wouldn't work but matilda is a plunge style bra another one of the things that i love about alomi bras is that they have no padding i was somebody who previously thought that I need the lift and shape, so I need padding, but I realized if I get the proper fitting bra, I don't need any padding. So as you can see, this bra has no padding. The most amazing thing about a lot of Elemi's bras is that depending on how your breast tissue is shaped, depending on your breast size and shape, a lot of times, like I'm very like heavy up here. Like I have a lot of breast tissue right here. So this part right here is a little stretchy. It moves with you. So if I bend over, I don't get back up and I have a quad boob. I really, really love that. So right here you have some see-through paneling, really nice stitching, and then you have a three-piece panel design. You have this side panel right here, which kind of brings your breast forward so you're not like sticking out on the side. You have your middle panels right here and you have your panel right there. So because of the design, like look at me to the side. Like this is exactly where my breast should be. It's between my shoulder and my elbow. I'm lifted, I'm supported. This is the proper fitting bra. So that's why I say I went from a triple D to a J really if we're talking US sizes, but I went from a triple D to a double G and I'm not worrying about the size because look at, I have the perfect fit. It's not too tight, it's not riding up in the back. My breasts are fully encompassed in the cup and it looks nice. It looks nice and it feels nice. Another thing I wanna mention about this bra is that it actually has some J hooks in the back. I don't know if you can see this little hook right here. You can actually extend the length of these straps and make it into a racer bra. So that's important. It also helps to give you more lift and support. So if you're wearing a racer back and you don't want your straps shown, that's also a great feature. Not all Alomi bras have that, but this one does. Once again, this is the Matilda. Okay guys, my next bra is my favorite Alomi bra. I need like 10 of these, like give me 10. This is the Alomi Morgan. This is my favorite style. Why I love it so much is that it is a full coverage bra. So like I talked about that center gore at the beginning, if you want a top that you can wear with suits, with really nice structured dresses, maybe even a gown depending on how it looks with button up tops, you want to make sure that you don't have the quad boob. That is the thing that I think for me has always looked the worst because I never had a properly fitting bra because I couldn't go down the street and just pick up my size until I found Alomi. The thing that I love about Morgan is that this panel right here is fully stretch lace. Now, 
in the last bra i spoke about the fact that i have a lot of breast tissue up here so for me i want to be able to bend down i want to be able to reach and pull things and i don't want to get back up and have to readjust my breast tissue like who wants to do that at work or at the grocery store or anywhere so the fact that this is a stretchy panel means that it moves with you it's always going to look nice so i'm going to get a little closer if you can see it goes all the way up here this center right here and your underwire should lay flat against your chest as you can see i have no quad boob my bra is properly fitted it is sitting in the right place it's between my shoulder and my elbow this is no padding you guys look how amazing this looks so let me show you the back this doesn't have that j hook strap but it's just super super comfortable once again we also have this side panel that helps to bring my breast forward so i'm not looking like super spread out and wide. I really like that. It helps to make you look a little slimmer, so that's nice. I do wanna mention one thing though, one con that I have with the Alomi bras, the tag is right here. Now with me, I have back fat. You know, I have a lot of loose skin. I've recently lost about 53 pounds. And because of that, I do have some loose skin. So I love this bra because it comes up so high, but if I do have to adjust it, sometimes the tag falls out. So in this bra, I am wearing a 38 double G. It is the perfect fit. I'm lifted, there's no padding. This is my favorite style. So this is a full coverage style. Um, this is great for button ups. I wouldn't wear this with a V-neck or a t-shirt. This lace might show through, but for anything that you would need a full coverage style for, this is perfect. This is my favorite bra. I believe this one retails for 69 if I'm not mistaken. Here's a tip though. Here's a tip. Here's a plus size tip. I got a lot of these bras for like 20 and 30 bucks. You guys go on eBay, go on Poshmark, go on Mercari. A lot of times people are selling discontinued colors or styles for cheap. So this was a brand new bra. It came with tags on it. I've just worn it so many times since I've gotten it, but I got it for, I want to say like $33. It was basically half off. So definitely don't be afraid to check those sites. Also, I'm going to leave a list of sites on the screen that you can find Alomi bras and they also sell them at Nordstrom and at Nordstrom Rack. But this is the Morgan. This is my favorite. It's just super comfortable. Like the last Matilda one, because it doesn't come super high up and like for my breast shape, I need a full coverage bra. It's not the most comfortable, but this, I feel like I'm wearing nothing. Like, oh, I feel so great. Okay guys, my next bra is the Alomi Trisha. This is actually a discontinued style. I found it on Poshmark, it had tags attached, and it was about $22. This is another full coverage bra, but it's different than the Morgan because it doesn't have that stretch lace panel. It does have some lace detailing, but the full inside of this cup is that like non-stretch satin material, but it's a great full coverage bra. Once again, the center gore in my underwire comes right up to where my cleavage would start. It's flush against my chest, which means it's the perfect size it goes all the way over here it's encompassing my full breast tissue because this is breast tissue right here as well we have that side paneling to bring me forward this is literally the perfect fit so this is a size 38 double g also and i'm fully encompassed i'm in it i can bend over i can stretch i can reach and i don't fall out of my cups and play around with band sizes and cup sizes because sometimes you could have the perfect fit but if you go up a cup size and down a band size or vice versa it fits a little better just based off of your proportions so let me show you the back of this one this is what it looks like it doesn't have that J hook in the back but notice like how far it comes up on the side and I think you can see right here how my tag is starting to poke out so that's the one thing I don't like about Alomi bras I wish they would put the tag like inside the cup on the side but everything else is great one thing I do want to mention because I know I told you guys that these bras have no lining and they're not like padded you might have a little nipple show through so once again it's the summertime well spring summer same thing in Atlanta so it's not really cold outside yet so I don't know what's gonna happen when it gets cold I might have to buy some like 
thin cup liners or something because I know for some people it's like in to have your nipples showing but like I'm not about that life but for me this bra fits great it's an older style once again this is called the okay. trash now we're gonna get a little sexy so all my previous bras that I showed you were great for work or every day now we're gonna get into like sexy and nighttime and things you might want to wear with a special someone we're going there Okay, so my next bra is the Ilomi Anushka, and this is in a size 38G. So if you'll notice, I went down a cup size. The reason being, I wanted this to be a push-up style. Now this style of bra is called a balconette, and if you'll notice, I have more of like my top boob exposed. It's basically like a half cup. So if I turn to the side, you can see that it still encompasses my full breast tissue. It doesn't come up quite as high, and it gives me a little bit of a push-up. So I went down a size because sometimes when I like to go out in the town, or maybe date night or something, Thing. sometimes I want to show off a little more of my decolletage and I don't want to be fully encompassed so because of that I went down a cup size which kind of gives me a lift so I love this bra like I said it's more of a half cup style this one is actually like molded so it's not padded it doesn't give you like a padding push-up but you're not gonna have to worry about nipple show through or anything like that once again, if I turn to the side, I'm properly lifted. My breasts are right where they should be between my shoulder and my elbow. And here is what the back looks like. There's no J hook. But I mean, you wouldn't really wear this style racer backs. I love this bra. It fits nicely. It encompasses my breasts enough for the style. But once again, this is a balconette style. So I don't expect it to be full coverage. More than likely, I would wear this with something a little more revealing where I'm not concerned with the top of the bra peeking out. It doesn't have that stretch lacing. The inside of this cup is just fully lined, but this is more of a sexier style. This is like going out. This is date night or whatever you want to do, but it's definitely not something I would wear with a button down blouse or anything to wear. Okay guys, so keeping in the same family, this is the Alomi Sadie bra. This is another balconette bra, as you can see I'm still flat on the top but it's more of like a half cup design once again this is perfect for lower cut options I would wear this with tank tops majority of the time I do but if you notice the center gore and the underwire is coming right up to here it fully envelops all of my breast tissue all the way to the side it comes up high in the back it doesn't have the J hooks, but there's more like breast tissue on top exposed. But if I turn to the side, you can see that I'm still properly lifted. We have no quad boob. Say no to quad boob. This bra is just great. I purchased this from Nordstrom and I got it on sale for about 22 bucks. Love this. I purchased this bra in a size 38 double G. That is my normal size and it fits perfectly. It does have like the three panel design in the cup, but this one is more of like a mesh lining. So it's not gonna give you like that soft satin feeling. It's more of like a lace overlay. Really nice bra. You could wear it with sexier tops. I don't, I tend to wear this one every day. It's a great everyday style for me. Once again, this is the Alomi Sadie. Okay guys, keeping in the same family, my next bra is my push-up. Now, these last three bras are actually not from Alomi. Alomi really doesn't, as far as I've seen, make a push-up bra. Most of their bras are like fully encompassing, so I had to go elsewhere. This is an older bra that I got from Victoria's Secret. This is the incredible push-up in a size 38 triple D. Now, as you can see, it's not the most supportive. I should not be able to do this with my bra. This center goring and the underwire does not sit flush against my chest. If you can see, I have a quad boob right there. If I turn to the side, I look lifted, but I'm spilling out of the cups. So this is what I mean when I say Victoria's Secret bras, they fit, but they didn't fit amazingly. I have a lot of breast tissue out on the side. It's not necessarily spilling out, but it's definitely not the properly fitting bra, but because this one is a push-up, I figured, who cares? When I wear a push-up bra, because my breasts are so large, like I'm not gonna get like a huge amount of support because they're being like pushed together. So this is what the bra looks like. Once again, this is a size 38 triple D. This is what it looks like in the back. I will probably still go to Victoria's Secret for push-up bras just because Alomi doesn't really have styles like that. But I just want to show you the difference between, and I'm going to do a side-by-side, -side, like a properly fitting bra and an improperly fitting bra. Though it is a push-up bra, I still shouldn't have like this 
giving me quad boob right here. So this is why it's so important to get a properly fitted bra. But for the purpose of a push-up bra, this works. If I'm gonna be wearing a low cut top, if I'm wearing a bodysuit that's really low, if I'm wearing a wrap dress and I'm going out and I wanna be sexy, if it's date night or anything like that, this would be perfect. Okay, so my next style is a strapless bra. <sighs> Now let me tell you, as a full-figured woman, as a woman with a large chest, finding a properly fitting strapless bra is such a task. This is a bra that I purchased maybe a year ago. This is by Waco. It is the, the red carpet bra. Fun fact, Waco and Elomi are kind of like sister brands. Elomi would be like the fuller figured sister to Waco. So if you really like Waco bras, you'll probably really like Elomi. So this is the red carpet strapless, I believe. Now, you might not be able to see what's going on, but I can feel some pulling and look how much I'm able to do this. Now, if you look, I am a little flat but I can see myself easily spilling out of this. But if we look at our center gore and our underwire, it doesn't sit flush against my chest. And when it does, look what happens. I get quad boobs. So this is how you know that although this bra fits, it's not properly fitting. And I also just feel like something in these cups, there's just too much room and I feel like this breast is coming over here. It's just a lot going on. Let me show you the back. I really like that this has like these boning pieces right here. Now they are creased because like I said, this bra is old and this is the bra I wore 50 pounds ago. This is a size 40 triple D. I think I would need to go down in the back size to a 38 and go up a few cup sizes, but I'm really just gonna get the Alomi strapless bra because this one, it's not giving me the support and the lift I need and it kind of just feels like it's hanging on like, it's too much movement, but it suffices. I just wanted to show you what an improperly fitted bra looks like, but luckily Alomi makes a bra like this in my size. Okay, and for my last category of bras, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite sports bras. Now, I have previously never found a brand of sports bras that is comfortable, is soft, and that actually like encompasses all my breast tissue. So this is a brand that I just found. I'm actually going to be filming a review after this video and it is called Yvette Sportswear. And it is called Yvette Sports. So they are a brand of activewear. They have tops, bottoms, sports bras. They have regular size, plus size. But the thing I love about this is the material of this bra. But it's not just your average sports bra. So it's not just like one band. It has a portion inside with molded cups they are not removable I don't think but the great thing about this is it actually wicks sweat I wore this today working out and it fits so well and it's so soft and comfortable it's a stretchy fabric that actually wicks sweat and it also helps to protect against sunscreen and the harmful rays of the sun so that it doesn't damage the spandex this is what the back looks like it's a super super comfortable sports bra you can wear it down like this. Let me hide the tag. Now, the sizing for your vet sports is a little off. So right now I'm wearing a 3XL D through F. Like I told you guys, right now I'm wearing a 38 double G. So by their size standards, I shouldn't be able to fit this. But as you can see, I do. Now, is this going to give you like the ability to jog without your breast fully moving? No, it doesn't have that much support. But for being a soft cup sports bra with no underwire, I really, really do like this. Like the back really enables you to sweat and not feel sticky. I love the fact that all my side breast tissue right here is encompassed. Like I've honestly never found a sports bra where I'm wearing it and I'm working out and I don't feel like my breasts are coming out on the side. Like this one is really well fitted. I will leave the name on the screen and the link down below, but I am in love with this. Okay, and this is my last sports bra. I'm gonna also put the name across the screen. This is also by Yvette Sport. Now, first of all, shout out to this pattern. I love this pattern. So once again, I got this in a 3XL D through F. Now, as you can see, 
It is a little lower cut than the first one, so I do have a little cleavage showing. Um, I would say this fits a little more snug in the cup area, but it's fine. It gives you probably better support if you were to run. Now, the reason why I showed you this one is because I love a front close sports bra. There is nothing worse than coming home from an intense workout and you can't get the bra off because it only closes in the back and you're sweaty. Like taking clothes off of a wet body is the hardest thing. And so I appreciate the fact that they have styles that also feature a front zip. So same thing as last time, super, super soft and comfortable fabric. This one is padded as well. These pads don't look like they're removable, but I love that you can zip it and unzip it in the front. There you go, I don't wanna take it down too far. And also it has this little flap that keeps it secure and keeps it from opening while you're working out. So it's the same size as the other one, a 3XL D through F. Let me show you the back. This is more like a traditional back sports bra. Once again, it comes down far enough and this one actually might stay. Um, I'm a 38 double G, like I said, and this fits perfectly. I just really like this one. Now, once again, you're not gonna have no bounce when you're running, but it really does hold you in nicely. And the great thing is that this inside layer doesn't stretch, so it kind of keeps you in place a little more. But honestly, you guys, these bras are just so soft and comfortable. I love them. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I gave you some great fit tips and tricks. Hopefully you guys will check out Alomi Lingerie. I hope you find your perfect fitting bra. Don't give up ladies. Sometimes you will have to go through a couple different brands. It might take a few years. It might take a few decades, but find the perfect fit. Don't give up. Don't settle for a uniboob. Don't settle for a quad boob. Find your perfect fit. I promise it will change your posture and even make you look 10 pounds slimmer. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.